Hello, this is Jeremy with Math Boot Camps, and uh, in this video, we're going to talk about how to use Wolfram Alpha to find the inverse of a matrix. And actually, you can do a ton of stuff with Wolfram Alpha and matrices. So here I am at the front page of Wolfram Alpha. So this is just wolframalpha.com. It's completely free. You just have to put up with some ads here and there. And I'm actually going to just type in matrix. I mean, it brings up a bunch of stuff, but don't worry about that. And so when I come in here, it's going to give me the opportunity to actually put a matrix into this and then calculate whatever I need to. So their matrix that they have right now is 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1, 2, 1, 3. And you can see it right here. See the curly bracket. The first curly bracket starts the matrix. And then each row is represented in another set of curly brackets. So the first row is 1, 2, 3 within this set of curly brackets. The second row is 3, 2, 1 in this set of curly brackets. And notice a comma between the rows. So let's say I had a matrix with four rows and four columns, so a four by four matrix. And let's say it just had the number four added on each of these. So I could do comma four here, comma four here, comma four here. And then I said four by four, so we only have right now three rows. So I'm gonna do comma and open up another curly bracket and do one comma, 2, comma, 3, comma, 4, and then close that curly bracket to put the fourth row in. And now what I'm going to do is tell it to calculate an inverse. Now, not every matrix has an inverse, so we'll see if this one does immediately. Okay, so it says matrix is singular. So this particular one doesn't have an inverse. So it'll tell you that, which is really nice. Not everything will. And notice here, here's my initial matrix put in. So now I'm going to totally clear out this matrix, and we'll do another example. So we'll do a small two by two matrix. So let's say I had the matrix one, two, seven, eight. So the first row, I'm gonna start out the matrix with a curly bracket. First row is one comma two, that's within curly brackets, and then comma, and I said seven, eight, right? So next one is seven comma eight, close that, close that, equals. And so once again, I'm doing the inverse. And you can see it gives us our matrix inverse here. Here's the original matrix. Make sure I typed it in right. Here's our inverse. And it gives you a lot of other information if you're interested, if you're doing eigenvalues or anything like that. It goes really far with the information it gives you for whatever inverse. So as you saw, it'll tell you when you have a singular matrix, meaning one without an inverse. And if it has an inverse, it'll give you the matrix inverse. 